this is the first video in the new topic of cells. And to start off this topic, we're going to go back in time to the 1600s. So at this time, this was the end of the Renaissance period when there were there was a big shift away from religion to moving towards science and discovering new ideas and accepting new things. Whereas for the last thousand years, really, people had believed and followed really similar traditions and not much had changed. So there was lots of science going on at the time. And one thing that people were developing were the first microscopes. So you can see a picture here. This is a microscope that a guy called Robert Hooke invented. And he used a microscope to look at living things for the first time. Because before this, people, all they knew about living things is what they could see with their own eyes. And we didn't really know what was making up the bodies of animals or the organs of plants. And when he started looking at living things, this is the kind of picture that he saw. So this was him looking at some cork, which is wood from a cork tree. And he was amazed to see that actually a piece of wood was made up of lots of these tiny individual sections. And when he kept looking at lots of different living things, he kept finding these different sections. And he published it in a book, and the book was amazing, it was a bestseller, because for the first time, people discovered that living things are made up of these tiny building blocks. And he called these things cells. So to define them, we can call cells as they're the basic unit of life. Or in other words, they're like a building block. So every living thing, and ever since the 1600s, every living thing that we've looked at with microscopes is always made of cells. So we know that that's one thing all living things have in common. So here are a few more examples of what some cells can look like. Here we've got some cells from the cheek of an animal. And in the next one we've got some plant cells. And these are from an onion. If you slice a really thin slice of an onion, this is what you look what it looks like. And then you've probably seen these as well. These are red blood cells from humans. So we can see here that lots, well that all organisms are made up of lots of cells. But another thing that they discovered when looking at marks, looking through a microscope, is that some organisms are actually just made of one cell. So some organisms are made of only one cell. And we call these unicellular organisms. Uni means one, like a unicycle. So we can see here, here's one cell, and these organisms are so small that they're microscopic. 
and we need a microscope to even see them. And these ones are too. We can see lots of individual organisms here. So each little rod, that's a different organism. So the opposite of unicellular, we call multicellular. And these are organisms that are made of lots of cells, and these are the ones we can see with our own eyes. So all the animals, well most animals, and plants, all the larger organisms.